The first algorithm we consider is called Kruskal's algorithm and the idea of this algorithm is very simple. A two-year-old could have written this. So all we do, we sort all edges in non-decreasing order of their weights and then we remove them from the graph. This will result in a forest consisting of n single node trees. All right, so you remove all the edges, so all we have remaining in the graph is just the nodes, and you can think of every single node as a tree consisting of just one node. And then on the third step, what we do, we perform n minus one iterations, where at each iteration we pick a minimum weight edge that does not create a cycle and add it to our constructed tree. So when we add an edge, the number of trees in our forest is going to decrease by one at every iteration. And as a result, after n minus one iterations, we will have just a single tree. And this tree is guaranteed to be the minimum weight spanning tree if we perform the iterations the way we described here. All right, so let's illustrate this algorithm using our working graph. So now we assume that all the edges are removed and we only have the nodes. So every node is a tree in our forest consisting of nine trees. We start by picking the minimum weight edge in the graph. So we can see that the smallest weight of an edge that we have is four and it corresponds to the edge five, seven. So the first thing we're gonna do, we will add the edge five, seven to our constructed tree. All right, so once we added the edge five, seven, now the total weight of the tree that we are constructing is four. And in terms of our forest that we have here, what we did, we essentially merged two of the trees from the forest into a single one. This reduced the number of trees in our forest by one. So from nine trees, we went down to eight trees, but only one of these trees is non-trivial consisting of more than one node, right? Next, we are going to look for the next lightest edge in our graph. And this edge would be 3, 6 or weight 5. And clearly it doesn't create any cycles in our graph. And remember that during the execution of the steps of our algorithm, we only count the green edges. So all these gray edges are gone for now. We remove them from the graph. And now we are reinserting only the relevant edges that will belong to our minimum spanning tree. So, so far we have one, so now we are going to add another one of weight five. Our total weight increased to nine, and now we have two edges here, and the total number of trees in our forest decreased from eight to seven now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now we have two non-trivial trees in our forest, right? So what's the next lightest edge that we have? So there are a couple of edges of weight six. We will need to pick one of them as the next edge that we are going to insert in the tree. And we picked here the edge one four. So now we have three edges from our minimum weight spanning tree. So obviously the other edge of weight six will be the next one. So the edge six, eight is going to be the fourth edge that we are adding. Next, we have a couple of edges of weight seven. So we insert one of them first. This will be the edge three, four. And now you see that uh, we marked a couple of edges in red. So these are the edges that cannot be added to our spanning tree because they would create a cycle, right? So we're gonna mark this for convenience with red. So we cannot use this edge or this edge in our spanning tree. Because if we use, let's say one tree, this would create a cycle. And the same goes to the edge uh, four, six. So essentially, if both endpoints of some edge are a part of the same tree in our forest here, then such an edge can be excluded from further consideration because it would create a cycle in the spanning tree that we are building. All right, so next we are going to add the edge for seven. And once we add for seven, we see that there are a lot more 
of these red edges that we marked here. So these are the ones that will be excluded from our further consideration. We cannot insert them in our spanning tree because either of them would create a cycle. Okay, so the next cheapest or lightest edge would be of weight 8 or the cost of 8. And we see that there are several of these in the graph, but only two of them can still be included in our spanning tree. We already eliminated this one, this one, and this one. And next we are going to add uh, one of the edges of weight 8 to our tree. So this is going to be the edge 2.5. And finally, the other edge of weight 8 that is still in consideration is going to be added next. And this will be the last edge that we add in order to form our spanning tree. So now we see that we obtained our optimal tree of total weight of 51. So all of the nodes have been covered now. So this is a spanning tree. All right. So this is how it looks like. This is our optimal solution.